let's go to Matthew chapter 7 and we are going to read in verses 21 through 23 not everyone that saith unto me Lord Lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven but he that doeth the will of my father which is in heaven 22 many will say to me in that day lord lord have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works 23 and then will i profess unto them i never knew you depart from me ye that work iniquity so just because you label yourself as a christian doesn't particularly mean you are and that you are going to heaven and you may ask me kevin what do you mean by this i believe some people believe they are christian just because only because they believe in jesus christ as in they believe in jesus christ but they may believe they can do whatever they like you may may you may believe you are Christian just because you go to a church. You may believe you are Christian because your mom and dad are Christians. Maybe you have been baptized in a Christian church. Maybe you believe that makes you a Christian which qualifies you in going to heaven and as you can see here in these verses that is not true yes you have to believe in jesus christ but you also have to follow god's rules not saying that you are going to be perfect not saying that you are going to do everything right no if we are truly god's servants we should be progressing i hope this is making sense not that i do everything right but i should be progressing i should become better at my weaknesses as in my sins i should be asking god for help i should be actively taking steps and sinning less if i am 52 right now and let's say I came to Jesus Christ when I was 40, you should see, or there should be a progression from 40 to 52. I hope this is making sense. I should not stay the same as I am now, then 20 years later, I am the same way. There should be a progression in advancement if i am saying that right so calling yourself a christian doesn't mean you are going to heaven going to church alone doesn't mean you are going to heaven paying your tithes and offering alone doesn't mean you are going to heaven speaking to people about jesus christ alone doesn't mean you are going to heaven 
So it's not so much about your preaching and your prophesying and your casting out demons and stuff of that manner. It is about your nature. It is about you. What are you doing when it pertains to God's word? Are you trying to change yourself with it first? You can do so many things for Christ, if I can say that. But what about you? Are you focusing on yourself? I believe some people, and this makes absolutely no sense. I believe some people try to change other people as in trying to turn them to Christ when they are a mess, when they need to work on themselves first. I hope this is making sense. Like you may need Christ more than them, but you are trying to teach them. You are trying to change them. But the first person that needs to change is you. I believe there are some people like that. So don't be so focused on what you can do for Jesus Christ. Be focused on you. Be focused on changing. Be focused on obtaining a relationship with Jesus Christ, right? Like, if you are prideful, if you are spiteful, hateful, love, ignorance, just a wicked person, how can you preach to another person? How can you encourage an unsaved person to change their life when you may be worse than them? I believe so many people are going to look at your life if you are trying to persuade them to live for Jesus Christ. So I believe you will be seen as a hypocrite if you do this. I hope this is making sense. Let me stop here. God bless you.